Yo, what's up you guys, it's Yeos, and today, I'm actually gonna have a video because it's the leveling up event in Marvel Contest of Champions, of course, and pretty much I want to start this video off by saying thank you very much, and a special shout out to Roman underscore noodles, I love ramen noodles, but I'm not sure about Roman noodles, he sent me a, a premium hero crystal, so like I said before guys, if you do actually get me something, I will give you a shout out, guaranteed, um, I'm not kind of sure, because like, some people have been trying to give me like, um, one dual credit in order to get a, a shout out, I think it's kind of cheap, so um, there's a lot I'm going to be doing that for one dual credit for five units, I think it's kind of cheaping out and kind of cheating the system a little bit, but anyway, first of all, I want to give a shout out to you, Roman Noodles, you are an awesome person. Secondly, I want to give a shout out to Moist Pillow. he actually gave me five dual credits on the dual skirmish day, on the event, and also he did give me a premium hero crystal as well, so thank you to you, I actually chatted with you a couple times, you're actually a really cool dude. Yeah, this was the example I was talking about, shout out to you, Chance Knowlton, for giving me one dual credit, thank you. And this is the premium hero crystal I was talking about from Moist Pillow. thank you again, you awesome person. Um, I really, I really, really do appreciate all the gifts people give me, so, um, I really, oh, 10% battery, awesome. Lovely way to start that, but anyway, thank you guys again, and yeah, let's get on to the actual part of the video. Alright guys, we are back in the alliance, I want to say special shout out to all these people right here, first of all. Um, two people didn't participate in alliance quest, so two people are going to get kicked. If you guys are looking for an alliance and you have over 40k rating, also, if you are active in alliance quest, you do qualify for the Eternal Paradox E30 alliance. So pretty much, we're pretty cool around here, all we want to do, we just want to finish alliance quest, that's pretty much our only thing. We save crystal sometimes, we save ranks, we save level ups, so if you guys are over 40k, um, just add me in game and I'll get you in here. Alright, here we go, onto the beef of the video, this is what my 4 stars are looking like right now. Um, here we go, looking down, looking down, looking down, first of all, who should we rank up? I forgot to put this video out, uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to try and force it out before this one real quick, but um, I did get 4 star superior Iron Man from a 4 star hero crystal from a shards. Um, kind of disappointing because I really don't like Superior Iron Man. Any of the Iron Mans really are, they're all pretty terrible without their abilities. Um, Superior Iron Man uh, and regular Iron Man are pretty much the same character. War Machine, he's alright without his, um, without his ability, but at the end of the day, if you have their ability, they makes him a lot better. So, let's start by ranking up this bad boy real quick. This bad boy. Alright, um, do I have any Cosmic Ice cells? I, I sure do. Alright, there we go. There we go. I have quite a bit of gold, too. I'm actually really surprised about that. I'm usually running really, really low on gold. So let's make this man um, two, rank 2, level 20. Hopefully, we can get that done real quick. got to clear my stash, too. My stash is filling real quick. Real freaking quick. You guys don't even know. I have so much stuff in my stash because I was doing all those quests and stuff like that and trying to pump them all out. Let's go filter by Cosmic. Trying to pump all those quests out, the Moon Knight one, still haven't finished it yet, because I'm trying to get those Stony Mastery Core. I'll actually upload a video of my Masteries when they're all done. The thing is, those Masteries are going to take forever, because they're going to cost so many units and stuff like that, but at the end of the day, they're going to be worth it. And I'm thinking, though, if I actually get um some to awaken some of my characters, I'm actually going to go in the Realm of Legends at some point, because Star-Lord, I need his ability, to, I need his um ability tactician, I need... Um, who else do I need for his ability? I need Wolverine's ability. I'm thinking I need a couple other guys. I'm not sure my roster is even adequate enough to go in the realm right now. Like, if I were to go in the realm right now, I'd probably bring Black Widow, but I need her ability as well. Gamora, I need her ability. Wolverine, I need his ability. Um, Electro and Star-Lord. That'd be a squad right there. A squad! A little Fetty Wap reference. So, yeah, Black Widow, Gamora, Wolverine, Electro, and Star-Lord. That is a squad, so... I don't know. Maybe, if I get all this, uh, I'm working on getting more catalysts. Let me show you guys real quick. Let me go back to upgrade this, man. Let me go back here. I did get my first tier 4 basic catalyst. Let's upgrade it real quick. It's like, you wish. I'm not doing that cheese. Um, I only need two more. I think I'm going to bring Wolverine to rank 4. That's what I think I'm going to do, because I don't have Doctor Strange or anything like that. So, yeah. That's what I've been working on, pretty much. And haven't uploaded in 4 days. You guys know how it is. I'm not sure what to upload really, that's the thing. Not really feeling like doing crystal openings because the lunar crystals, I wanted Moon Knight because Moon Knight looks really cool, but I still have next week to think about that because I'll, I'll be able to get Moon Knight in the next crystals that open up, so like save like their Electro ones or if they're, um, I don't know, whatever the new event is, I'll be able to get them in the crystal anyways, so it'll be cool. Alright, there we go. Um, level 20 of 20, that's perfect for Superior Iron Man, getting my hero rating up all the way, I like it, I like it. Yeah, I'm just low down alphas right now. I can't wait to get rid of these. Bring him to rank 3 next time. Next, we got Star-Lord. And we're going to try and get some of these tech. These tech ISO 8s. There we go, man. I'm not sure if you guys like these videos or not. Just me talking. 
I feel like they're a little boring because I can't, like, I'm not gonna really get excited or anything. Like, oh man, he's got the level 20. I'm not gonna, like, be like that. So I'm not sure if you guys like those or not. So just let me know in the comment section down below. Because I always take your comments into consideration. I always do it to make me look better. Well, not look better. <laughs> make my videos better. That's what I'm trying to say. I don't know why I just said that, but it's whatever, guys. All right, we need a, a little bit more tech ISOs. You know what, screw it. I'm just going to put that mystic one in there. I don't even care. I don't care anymore. All right, yeah, Star-Lord. If I awaken him, he's probably going to become one of my favorite characters. I definitely want to bring Star-Lord to rank 4 if I do awaken him, but my only awakened 4-star is actually Iron Patriot right now. So, so yeah, I actually want to... Um, duplicate a bunch of these characters to be honest like duplicating these characters makes them like a whole lot better I'm not sure what Magneto's ability actually is but Star-Lord is like um every 10 hit combo I think he gets stronger or something like that it's crazy especially in the realm when you can just beat and beat and beat on um, on your opponent it's crazy Iron Patriot's ability is raw but he at the end of the day is not a great character he's all right but you pretty much got to beat him up to make him good that's the only problem I have with them because pretty much his ability activates like every other Iron Man. Like his ability activates when you're at low health, and pretty much you can't kill him when he's at low health. Like when he's at low health, like pretty much it's called Arc. Over no, it's not called Arc Overload. Arc Overload. Oh, oh my God! Arc Overload is actually Iron Man and Superior Iron Man's, I believe. But his is just called Overload or something like that, and pretty much it makes his armor like up to 100%. And pretty much if people even do like their second special or something like that, it does not kill him. It's crazy, but. I don't know. Some some other champions have a lot like a lot better and more OP um, abilities. That's what I feel like. And Iron Patriot's not the best of the bunch. You know what I mean? Wow, my gold's going down real fast. This is crazy. This sucks so bad. Oh well. Getting my guys up. Getting my hero rating up. Can't be a bad thing. You guys know how it is. You guys already know. All right, there we go. Level 23 of 30. Here we go. Got a nice sensual bag of fritos next to me i can't wait to eat after this video it's just open right now i see one frito and just chilling out there i know it's really unprofessional so that's why i'm not gonna eat them but you know they're looking kind of clean those <laughs> those fritos looking kind of cleansed so you know all right we're out of mutant isis hopefully we have enough to actually level them up to 30 of 30 so here we go uh we're definitely not going to so we're going to uh, look at these new isos not new isos these um 1300 isos i believe they are the one we got from the moon knight quest because i think every time you beat moon knight you actually get one of those so let's go filter tier four there we go I have all kinds of those like i said look at that because i killed moon knight so many times that moon knight is so op in the quest that's why i really wanted him saw so super gaming family I actually pulled him i i went him into the live stream late i was so sad literally i came in he was playing a moon knight i'm like oh god what did i miss and never in, in the live stream he's going wild shout out to you guys if you guys were actually in and stuff like that but the people on the live stream going wild they're like oh my god yido west what the hell i felt like a celebrity or something like that i know i shouldn't feel like that but I was really humbling to get in there, like being able to talk to you guys. It was pretty awesome. So there were a couple of guys I saw, like I recognize in there. So shout out to you guys. I, I definitely know you guys comment to my videos and stuff like that. So you guys are the bomb. All right, I don't think we need all those. So let's go back to tier threes. There we go. I was surprised so many people actually recognize me. And I know like this person probably knows who they are. I went on Corey Morgando's channel or whatever, like for his first Roma Legends video. It has like 132,000 views. I saw this comment, like, right when I woke up, I'm just like, like, Chris, all right, let me tell you what it says first, instead of me trying to, like, I'm trying to explain it, I'm just, like, so bad at explaining it, that's the only problem, guys, as we get to level 30 of 30, perfect right there, but pretty much this guy's like, oh, yeah, why don't you guys check out Yeet OS, he does some Marvel content and Champions videos, like, Super Gaming Family, Cory Morgando, and blah, 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 you're the man, thanks for promoting me, you're awesome, so there we go, 30 of 30, let's see what the hero rating is up to real quick, boom, and we are at 53,000. I remember like a couple months ago when I was at like 30k and I was in Swag 1 aka Yeet Squad. Also, I am an officer now in Eternal Paradox, so that's awesome. Yeah, but look at this. Um, 53,000 rating. That's awesome. I remember a couple months ago when I was at like 30,000 in Swag 1 and I couldn't even complete events. Sometimes we can't even complete events, but the thing is we're working our way up. We're getting these alphas. We're getting these catalysts. So... We're working our way to better things. All right, guys, if you did enjoy this video and these leveling up videos, please leave a like, rating, comment, tell me what you thought in the comment section down below and subscribe for more. It's me, Yido S. Peace out. Kicked. If you guys are looking for an alliance and you have over 40k rating, also, if you are active in alliance quest, you do qualify for the Eternal Paradox E30 alliance. So pretty much, we're pretty cool around here. All we want to do, we just want to finish alliance quests. That's pretty much our only thing. We save personal sometimes, we save ranks, we save level ups. 
so if you guys are over 40k um just add me in game and i'll get you in here all right here we go on to the beef of the video this is what my four stars are looking like right now um here we go looking down looking down looking down first of all who should we rank up i forgot to put this video out uh, i'm not sure if i'm gonna try and force it out before this one real quick but um i did get four star superior iron man from a four star hero crystal from a shards um, kind of disappointing because I really don't like superior Iron Man. Any of the Iron Mans really are, they're all pretty terrible without their abilities. Um, superior Iron Man uh, and regular Iron Man are pretty much the same character. War Machine, he's alright without his, um, without his ability, but at the end of the day, if you have their ability, they it makes him a lot better. So, let's start by ranking up this bad boy real quick. This bad boy. Alright, um, do I have any Cosmic Ice Cells? I, I sure do. Alright, there we go. There we go. I have quite a bit of gold too. I'm actually really surprised about that. I'm usually running really, really low on gold. So let's make this man um, two rank two, level 20. Hopefully we can get that done real quick. I'm gonna clear my stash too. My stash is feeling really. You know what? Screw it. I'm just gonna put that mystic one in there. I don't even care. I don't care anymore. All right. Yeah. Star Lord. If I awaken him, he's probably gonna become one of my favorite characters. I definitely want to bring Star Lord to rank four if I do awaken him. But my only awakened four star is actually Iron Patriot right now. So. So yeah, I actually want to um, duplicate a bunch of these characters, to be honest. Like, duplicating these characters makes them, like, a whole lot better. I'm not sure what Magneto's ability actually is, but Star-Lord is, like, um, every 10-hit combo, I think he gets stronger or something like that. It's crazy, especially in the realm when you can just beat and beat and beat on um, on your opponent. It's crazy. Iron Patriot's ability is raw, but he, at the end of the day, is not a great character. He's alright, but you pretty much gotta beat him up to make him good. That's the only problem I have with him. Because pretty much, his ability activates, like every other Iron Man, like his ability activates when you're at low health, and pretty much you can't kill him when he's at low health. Like, when he's at low health, like, pretty much, it's called Arc Overload. No, it's not called Arc Overload. Arc Overload. Oh, oh my god. Arc Overload is actually Iron Man and Superior Iron Man's, I believe. But his is just called Overload or something like that, and pretty much... It makes his armor like up to 100% and pretty much if people even do like their second special or something like that It does not kill him. It's crazy, but I don't know some some other champions have a lot like a lot better and more OP Yo, what's up you guys a EOS and today I'm actually gonna have a video because it's the leveling up event in Marvel Contest of Champions of course And pretty much I want to start this video off by saying thank you very much and a special shout out to Roman underscore noodles. I love ramen noodles, but I'm not sure about Roman noodles. He sent me a, a premium hero crystal. So like I said before, guys, if you do actually get me something, I will give you a shout out guaranteed. Um, I'm not kind of sure because like some people have been trying to give me like um, one dual credit in order to get a, a shout out. I think it's kind of cheap. So um, this is the last time I'm going to be doing that for one dual credit for five units. I think it's kind of cheaping out and kind of cheating the system a little bit. But anyway, first of all, I want to give a shout out to you, Roman noodles. You are an awesome person. Secondly, I want to give a shout out to Moist Pillow. He actually gave me five dual credits on the dual skirmish day on the event. And also, he did give me a premium hero crystal as well. So thank you to you. I actually chatted with you a couple times. You're actually a really cool dude. Yeah, this was the example I was talking about. Shout out to you, Chance Knowlton, for giving me one dual credit. Thank you. And this is the premium hero crystal I was talking about from Moist Pillow. Thank you again, you awesome person. Um, I really, I really, really do appreciate all the gifts people give me. So um, I really, oh, 10% battery, awesome. Lovely way to start that, but anyway, thank you guys again, and yeah, let's get on to the actual part of the video. Alright guys, we are back in the Alliance, I want to say special shout out to all these people right here, first of all. Um, two people didn't participate in Alliance Quest, so two people are gonna get real quick, real freaking quick. You guys don't even know. I have so much stuff in my stash because I was doing all those quests and stuff like that, and trying to pump them all out. Let's go to Filter by Cosmic. Trying to pump all those quests out, the Moon Knight one, still haven't finished it yet, because I'm trying to get those Stony Mastery Core. I'll actually upload a video of my Masteries when they're all done. The thing is, those Masteries are going to take forever, because they're going to cost so many units and stuff like that, but at the end of the day, they're going to be worth it. And I'm thinking, though, if I actually get um some to awaken some of my characters, I'm actually going to go on the Realm of Legends at some point, because Star-Lord, I need his ability, to, I need his um ability tactician, I need... Um, who else do I need for his ability? I need Wolverine's ability. I'm thinking I need a couple other guys. I'm not sure my is even adequate enough to go in the realm right now. Like, if I were to go in the realm right now, I'd probably bring Black Widow, but I need her ability as well. Gamora, I need her ability. Wolverine, I need his ability. Um, Electro and Star-Lord. That'd be a squad right there. A squad! A little Fetty Waff reference. So, yeah, Black Widow, Gamora, Wolverine, Electro, and Star-Lord. That is a squad, so... I don't know. Maybe if I get all this, uh, I'm working on getting more catalysts. Let me show you guys real quick. Let me go back to upgrade this, man. Let me go back here. I did get my first 
tier four basic house. Let's upgrade it real quick. It's like you wish. I'm not doing that cheese. Um, I only need two more. I think I'm gonna bring Wolverine to rank four. That's what I think I'm gonna do because I don't have Doctor Strange or anything like that. So yeah, that's what I've been working on pretty much. And haven't uploaded in four days. You guys know how it is. Hatus. I'm not sure what to upload really. That's the thing. Not really feeling like doing crystal openings because the lunar crystals. I wanted Moon Knight. Moon Knight looks really cool, but I still have next week to think about that because I'll, I'll be able to get Moon Knight in the next crystals that open up so like save like their Electro ones or if they're um I don't know whatever the new events is I'll be able to get them in the crystal anyway so it'll be cool alright there we go um level 20 of 20 that's perfect for superior Iron Man getting my hero rating up all the way I like it I like it yeah I'm just low down alphas right now I can't wait to get rid of these bring him to rank 3 next time next we got Star Lord and we're gonna try and get some of these tech these tech ISO 8s. There we go, man. I'm not sure if you guys like these videos or not, just me talking. I feel like they're a little boring because I can't, like, I'm not gonna really get excited or anything. I'm like, oh man, he's got the level 20. I'm not gonna, like, be like that. So I'm not sure if you guys like those or not. So just let me know in the comment section down below. Because I always take your comments into consideration. I always do it to make me look better. Well, not look better. <laughs> make my videos better. That's what I'm trying to say. I don't know why I just said that, but. It's whatever, guys. All right, we need a, a little bit more tech ISO. 